Gainesville city leaders attempt to address homeless encampments. Lawmakers at the state house are ready to vote on a bill to ban sleeping on streets. And a similar bill is waiting for a vote in the Senate. TV 20 Tallahassee Bureau reporter Cody Butler tells us why critics say this could put local governments like the city of Gainesville in a difficult position. City lawmakers are working to make streets like this a thing in the past across Florida. The House is expected to vote on a bill Friday that would ban people from sleeping on the streets. We're not going to have our public libraries. We're not going to have our city halls. We're not going to have um, our public roadways. Our, everything from the sidewalks across the street turned into de facto homeless camps. We're just not going to have that. Nearly 31,000 people across Florida experienced homelessness last year, according to a state count. That number is likely to actually be higher. Representative Sam Garrison's bill will have counties create a place for people to go if their shelters are full. The counties would need to provide services at these camps too. Garrison says these camps shouldn't be the first step. Try to get more and more shelter space. What we're talking about is a scenario where there is insufficient shelter space to handle all the, all the uh, homeless individuals um, who are choosing to um, make basically long-term encampments on public space. House Democrats express concerns about how this bill would be implemented if it is passed, especially on local governments, without more money. It's going to put our local governments between a rock and a hard place to basically say that either we can identify these potential camps, assuming local residents would even allow that to happen, or we arrest and find people for just sleeping. Representative Anna Escamani is worried this bill will do more harm than good. A lot of these folks are going to end up in our jail system. They're going to not be able to address their addiction, going to show up in our public hospitals. There is a similar bill waiting for a vote in the Senate. At the State Capitol, Cody Butler, TV 20 News.